Hello, welcome. Um, it is the Vegan Remix, and today I'm going to be making one of Joshua Weissman's videos. It's actually one of his shorts. We're going to be making tater tots, and if you've never had tater tots before, you are missing out. They are the crunchiest, saltiest, potatoiest treats of goodness. If you don't know what they are, I'm going to put a photo over here so you can see what they are. Burger Fuel make the best ones that I've tasted so far, and I think it's simply because they are the saltiest. But in Joshua Westman nature, I am copying his intro, hopefully. I don't know, people might understand, people not, might not understand. But this is the best place in my kitchen for lighting, apparently. I didn't know that, and I might have to adapt this just a little bit, but we might just do that. So, moving on. And this is a simple, easy one, so stay tuned. Alright, for this recipe you are going to need a saucepan, a decent amount of oil, salt, some plain flour, and at least two spuds. Those two potatoes from earlier, peel them. Now if you like crispy potato skins, wash your potatoes before peeling and fry these in hot oil too. Thank me later. If you want a thicker potato or you want more potato in your crispy skins, peel with a knife and be sure to be a bit more generous with the amount of potato you cut off. Now these go into some boiling water. Just until nice and soft, not until potato mash consistency. I'd say about five minutes, but I'll let you know after. Once your water's boiling, add in your potatoes. Take a tray. Grab one of your potatoes. I'm grabbing my, ooh, as if I can hold it. Oh, this is not gonna go well. They're slippery. I'm just going to double check with a fork. You want them to be able to be pierced, but you also want to be able to grate them. So I'm going to leave these to cool. While you wait for your potatoes to cool, you can fill a pot with oil, put it on the stove, and get it to temperature. I'm using the smallest pot I could possibly find because less oil, and it's still nice and deep, meaning it's still. It's not classed as shallow frying. But it's also important to note that you can keep your oil and just use it for frying in the future. So when I'm done today, I'm going to sieve it oh, to the best of my ability. And then I can reuse the oil if I decide to fry anything in the future. It won't be any good for using in meals or in baking, but it also could be used if to put in the bottom of your pan. And because it's not made with meat or fish or anything like that, Still vegetarian one. All right, once your potatoes are cold enough, you're gonna grate them into a big bowl. To your grated potatoes, add a generous amount of salt and some flour. If you want flavored tater tots, Add in your seasoning. Now we mix. And we shape into tater tots. This is where that tray comes in handy. Take a small amount of potato in your hands, squish it, and shape it into a oval, sort of, with two sides. My potatoes are probably a little bit undercooked, so you probably need a little bit more than five minutes, but this is the kind of shape you want. So once you have your shapes, you're going to grab one of your extra pieces of potato, a little scrap, chuck it in the oil, the bubbles like that, it is ready. We'll go on a rescue mission to get him out, and once you, you put one in, Wait for it to finish cooking and go a beautiful golden colour. Once done, you transfer to a pre-lined sheet tray with some baking paper, not baking paper, uh, paper towels, so that the excess oil can drip off. Once you have that beautiful golden colour that we are going for, all done. Now you do all of them. Add a little extra salt.
for a lot. If you want yours extra crispy, you can throw them back in the fryer for a little bit longer. Double. Double coating, double frying, double crispiness, double amazingness. And now for the best part of any video, getting to try them. First off, I'll start with these little extra crispy bits on the edges. You can just break them off. Oh. That was only one coat of frying. But I do prefer the even crispier ones. As for salt, I think I'm pretty much on point. Maybe a touch more, but these are delicious. Now, they're even better if you take a little bit of sauce and just drip it on top. I just want to say a huge thank you for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, comment down below. Um, ooh, what's an interesting one? Surfboard. Because I've always wanted to learn how to surf. Comment down below surfboard if you've made it this far into the video. And I want to, um, if you liked this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload. This is my new theme. I'm going to be doing recipes but vegan. And yeah, hit that like button down below too. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you enjoy this tater tots as much as I did. Peace out, people. Live it life every day. Let it die. Not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days.